My name is Ian Ross, President and Chief Executive Officer of Provincial Papers, Inc. Provincial Papers is an employee-owned coated paper manufacturer based in Thunder Bay, Ontario. We produce over 500 tons per day of coated paper, which is sold to customers in Canada and the United States. We are a market-driven company which is dedicated to meeting our customers' needs on a competitive basis. Over the next few minutes, you will have an opportunity to become more familiar with our operations. The process of paper making begins in the sales department. Customer orders are taken here and then scheduled on one of three paper machines. Along with inside sales, Provincial Papers has sales offices in Winnipeg, Toronto, Montreal, and Fairfield, Ohio. The purchasing department acquires all materials and supplies for maintaining mill operations, such as wood, clay, chemicals, 200 tons of crop per day, skids and pallets. The material handlers unload and truck most materials coming into the mill, such as purchase craft, and chemicals. Paper making begins in the wood yard. Eight foot poplar logs are fed into the slacker through two saws, cutting them into four foot lengths. In a sloped dry drum debarker, the bark is removed. The peeled logs are then conveyed to the groundwood mill or outside storage. On demand, the poplar logs are carried from a holding pond along a water flume to the grinders. The logs are loaded into pockets where a hydraulic piston forces them against a carborundum stone that grinds them into pulp. The pulp passes through a series of refining screens to remove bundles of fibers. A cleaning process removes any dirt that may have filtered through. On average, 90 tons of groundwood pulp is produced per day. The groundwood pulp is carried to the refiners at a consistency of 4% dry wood fiber to 96% recycled water. In this device, the bundles of fibers are forced to rub against each other, separating them into individual fibers ideal for making paper. Our bleaching process is chlorine free. From a holding tank, the groundwood pulp travels to the bleach plant where hydrogen peroxide is used to brighten it. As well as using our own groundwood, Provincial Papers purchases fully bleached hardwood and softwood craft. The craft is dumped into huge repulpers for use by the paper machines. Post-consumer de-ink fiber is used in echo grades. For each grade produced on the paper machines, the stock preparation department blends specified ratios of fiber types with in-house recycled trimmings, hulls, and other additives as required. Coating is a mixture very much like latex paint. It contains pigments like clay, binders such as starch, and many other ingredients. These are batch mixed for each paper grade and pumped to the paper machine coaters. Coating comprises between 25% and 35% of the total sheet weight. Provincial Papers has three paper machines. Number five paper machine produces grades such as book mat and lay card. Number six paper machine produces publication grade rock stock to be off machine coated. 
Number eight paper machine produces label paper, echo return cards, and number two coated free sheet. Blended pulps are pumped from the stock preparation department to the head box. Once there, it is fed onto a continually moving polyester screen called a wire. The Ford veneer forms interlocking wood fibers and removes excess water. The fragile sheet continues to the press section, which forces more water out. Then the sheet travels through a series of dryers. At the coater section, specialized coating mixers are added to the sheet and dried. Then smoothed in the calendar stack, passing through a profile scanner that measures and controls such things as caliper, moisture, and weight. Then wound onto a steel spool forming a reel. An average reel of paper weighs six tons. It will continue on to the off-machine coder room for further coating application or to the super calendar department for finishing. Tractors on rails transport reels of paper between departments. machine coder, the raw stock sheet produced on number six paper machine is unwound, coated and dried on both sides separately, then wound back onto a steel spool. The coated reel of paper is then processed by the re-reeler and sent to the super calendars or rewinders. At the super calendars, Coated paper passes through a series of nips, consisting of hard steel and soft filled rolls, smoothing out the surface to a glossy finish. A profile scanner controls the gloss. Cores are made to order specifications for use on the paper machine winders and rewinders. The rewinder department converts finished paper reels into roll slits of various sizes according to customer specifications. Information concerning each roll such as size, weight, set number and grade are entered into a computer terminal for further processing. The rolls are then sent to be wrapped, sheeted or stored. Roll handlers transport rolls between wrapping, sheeting, and storage by the use of trucks and the multi-station conveyor system. Rolls enter the roll wrapping machine where they are wrapped and labeled for shipping. The wrapped rolls are then loaded into transport trucks and shipped to the customer. Multiple rolls are drawn into the sheeter where they are trimmed and cut to precise sizes. And piled on skids according to customer specifications. The skids of paper are then taken to the trimmer, carton packaging, or skid wrap. Some customer orders require sheets to be cut oversized, then back trimmed to a final precise size on a guillotine trimmer. On the carton packaging machine, small quantities of sheets are packaged in individual corrugated cartons shrink wrapped and stacked on pallets.
The full pallets are then wrapped in a plastic film to further protect and stabilize the load ready for shipping. For customers that require large quantities of sheets, skid loads are wrapped in protective paper and wooden tops strapped together with steel bands. After labeling and wrapping, the skids of paper and pallets of cartons are trucked to the shipping department. The skids of paper and pallets of cartons are weighed and loaded in transports to be shipped to the customer. Provincial Papers uses a quality system that has been registered to the ISO 9002 1994 standard. We are the first pulp and paper operation in North America to meet the 1994 standard. Throughout the entire paper making process, from groundwood to shipping, the testing and quality control department working together with operating personnel ensure the highest quality product is shipped to the customer. All purchased raw materials such as craft, chemicals, recycled fiber, broke and clay are tested to guarantee they are suitable for use in our paper making process. In the groundwood Pulp samples are taken at several areas on a predetermined schedule. They are then tested for consistency and freeness. The bleach pulp is tested for consistency, brightness, and level of hydrogen peroxide. Once the purchased craft has been pulped, a blue glass test is performed on every pulper. A visual check is made to identify any contamination or defects that may be present. On a predetermined schedule, stock samples are taken at the paper machine's head box and cooch and at the stock preparation department. They are tested for consistency, freeness, and retention. Samples are taken off of every reel of paper at the paper machines, off machine coder, super calendars and rewinders. They are visually inspected and also taken to a test station where optical, physical and surface tests are performed. In the sheet finishing department, frequent random samples are taken. and check for size and visible defects. Finally, all wrap rolls skids and pallets are visually checked as they are being loaded for defective packaging or improper identification. As a responsible corporation, Provincial Papers adheres to all environmental guidelines and industry standards as established by our various governing bodies. Our paper products are manufactured to environmentally friendly high quality standards. No chlorine nor chlorine compounds are used in our pulp leaching process. We believe that hydrogen peroxide-based whitening process used is the most environmentally benign available. 
In the fiscal year of 1995, we have invested $1.5 million in environmental projects to improve our effluent quality. Three boilers in the steam plant provide the steam needed extensively throughout the operation, from groundwood, through the paper machines and off machine coder, to the super calendars. For provincial papers to produce a top quality product, well-maintained equipment is essential. Experienced tradesmen such as millwrights, machinists, electricians, pipe fitters, and instrument mechanics work together with operating personnel to achieve this goal. Activities such as heavy equipment operation, grass cutting, snow removal, general yard maintenance, and groundskeeping are handled by the yard department. Our office staff handle a multitude of tasks necessary to keep provincial papers operational. They schedule customer orders and operating personnel, maintain accurate accounting records, oversee human resources, take care of health, safety, and engineering. The quality coated and specialty papers that Provincial Papers manufactures is used for a variety of products. Labels for beer bottles and cans, cover and text pages for magazines and books, calendars, and many other applications. On behalf of uh, all of the employee shareholders of Provincial Papers, I want to thank you for taking the time to learn more about our operations. We trust you found this informative.